All right, so playing Misexpect. Uh, so first, a bit about me. Sorry. Uh, so first, a bit about me. Um, I'm a PhD student at UC Irvine. Uh, my research normally focuses on system security and compilers. Uh, but for this last summer, I've been working at Google as an intern uh, with the Fuchsia Toolchain team. Um, so just so we're all on the same page, built in expect is a, a compiler intrinsic used for performance optimization. Uh, most of us are probably more familiar with, uh, with its use in the likely and unlikely macros. Um, so if I have some kind of conditional branch, um, and I think one of the brand, one part of the branch is going to be hotter than the other, I can let the compiler know um, how I expect this to behave at runtime by adding an annotation like this. Um, so if I think about what I've, what I've told the compiler uh, in the control flow graph, I've said that there's a particular path that's going to be really hot. And the compiler's happy to take that information and, and remember it in the form of branch weights. Uh, and then it's going to use those branch weights later in the optimization pipeline to um, optimize the hot part of the, my code path. Um, and that's kind of where the problems start. Uh, developers are notoriously bad at predicting the runtime behavior of their programs. And so when these annotations are right, they get really good, um, small but important uh, performance improvements. But when they're wrong, they can often uh, pessimize performance. Um, and this is something we can't stick, uh, check statically. Um, so we'd like to kind of know like when they're wrong. So we need some kind of dynamic information. Um, and it'd be really great if there's some kind of way to um, profile our application and find out. Um, thankfully, uh, Clang and LLVM have a close relationship with their PGO pipeline, and we can use this to collect a uh, representative profile of how our uh, program should behave, and we can use this information um, to kind of find where these problems are. Um, so if you're not familiar with PGO, here's a 10,000 foot view. Uh, if I'm instrumenting my binary, uh, the compiler will instrument each basic block that increments some kind of counter. It doesn't have to add a counter to every basic block. It can reconstruct ones um, from its context in the control flow graph. Um, but if I have some kind of annotation on this block, uh, when I'm consuming the PGO data from the profile, I can just go grab this counter and make sure that it's correct. Um, so we added some new diagnostics to Clang and LLVM that do this. Um, these are available now at tip of tree. Um, so you can get warnings for this if you pass W misexpect. Uh, you can get optimization remarks if you ask for dash R pass equals misexpect from Clang. Uh, you can also get these warnings and, and diagnostics directly from the LLVM backend. Uh, I don't have time to go into much more of the PGO pipeline, but if you follow the link uh, to the LLVM documentation, you can find out a lot more. Um, there are some caveats with this. So this is a dynamic analysis. So if you feed a non-representative profile into, um, into the compiler, you're not going to get really good warnings. It's not going to give you really good feedback. So you do need to use uh, some care when you're deciding what the right inputs for your uh, profile collection are. Uh, but basically, if you give us a bad profile, you're going to get bad diagnostics back, unfortunately. Um, the usage is, is very straightforward. So if I'm compiling something uh, using the PGO pipeline, I can just add dash W misexpect and get these and get diagnostics to look something like this. Uh, we also recommend adding a debug flag um, so that you get better diagnostic output. Um, the because our, our checks happen in the LLVM backend, if there's no way to tie it to your source code, uh, you're gonna get sort of a fuzzy um, diagnostic. It'll have the right line number, but it won't give you the nice uh, pretty carrot. Um, you can also ask for optimization remarks. And this is useful because you can dump these as a uh, file output and process them separately from your compilation. Uh, and you can query uh, the compiler about a variety of its optimization decisions to find out what more you could do. Um, we also have a um, standalone tool that's out for review right now on Fabricator. Um, it's very similar to Clang Tidy in that it consumes a compile commands uh, JSON. Uh, and the PGO profile, and you can run it over your whole project and get feedback on all of these um, places where your annotations uh, may or may not be correct. Um, I think I'm basically out of time, so I don't have time for questions, but thank you very much.